The 2020 edition of uh, the annual Moshreshre walk, which traces the path uh, Basotu King Moshreshre uh, walked as he led his people to safety of uh, Tabiso Busuewu Natural uh, Fortress, is underway. The objective of the walk is to rekindle the spirit of unity amongst Basotu. SABC News anchor Palisa Chubisi is, uh, is there and has uh, more for us. A very good afternoon to you and thank you so much indeed for joining us this afternoon. We live, in fact, we are coming to you from Aha uh, Mahorwana in Lesotho. This is the second day of the historic Mushosho Walk where we get to uh, retrace the footsteps of our Basutu King Morena Mushosho. So it's, it all started yesterday uh, on day one in Mengkwaneng. So as I said this afternoon, we're here at Hamahorwana. So we are just here for a, a bit of a break before we continue because we have to be at uh, Madimung at around 10 p.m. Uh, this evening. So yesterday some of us were able to do about 31.4 kilometers and a bit difficult for some of us uh, this afternoon. So this walk uh, really it is in its 14th year this year. But just to get a perspective as to how things have been th uh, from yesterday to today, let me just bring in uh, the organizer of uh, uh, the walk, Ndate Tabo Maretlan. Ndate Maretlan, good afternoon to you and thank you so much for joining us here on the CBC News channel. Good afternoon, Pali. And I see you're tired. I'm not even going to ask how you're doing. It, it, it was difficult for me to do it at 1.4 kilometer yesterday, so I, can, I cannot even begin to imagine how you guys are, are feeling this afternoon. Yeah, I, it was a bit tough since in the morning it has been raining, so then on the way then at least it stopped raining. So far so good, and yeah, but it was tough. Yeah, because then it was muddy, so then everybody was slippery, the road was slippery. But the most important thing is that, yeah, we made it through as a team up to this far. It's halfway. We still have another... A long journey to Madibung, yes. Right, so you'll be uh, in Madibung at around 10 p.m.? Yes, definitely we'll be there around 10 p.m. Remember, we left around 4 in the morning, so it's a long journey. So. Maybe that's why I couldn't make it today, waking up at 4 a.m. All right, but let's just talk about this year, um, the event being in its 14th year. Are you happy? It looks a bit bigger this year, isn't it? Yes, it's a bit bigger. You know, there was a lot of advertising, a lot of marketing and everything that we did. Yeah, it's very important that, yeah, we worked so hard to make it uh, a success event this year. All other years we had tried our level best, but this is the best, eh? That's the only thing that I can say. With the support from the sponsors, uh, Ramila Associates and Mantisiklo uh, Construction and Projects. All right. So, I noticed um, yesterday that it wasn't just a walk. It wasn't just a walk, but at e each and every stop that you made, there was some corporate social investment project or initiative taking place. I saw the handover of a, sc of a school yesterday. I think it was at Hasieza. So talk to us about that, because as I say, this year it is a bit different from uh, the previous years. Of course, yes. You know, I think we passed there last year with the rest of the team and members. Then I think we saw a need. So then, then that's when these two companies came in to say, okay, fine, we can make a difference on those kids. It's a preschool, but we want to make it a better place for them to start to go to school with happy minds because then they know the place is better than other years. Yes, it's a good job that has been done there. Really, I'm so happy. The work, uh, it's marvelous. You saw the school, they've got a kitchen, they've got everything that this, uh, the, the school kids need. Yeah, again, I can say it. yesterday from Mianghwaneng, when we left, we left some shoes at Mianghwaneng Primary School. There was, yeah, as we said, that there's a social responsibility that has been taking place. Of course, yes, even today, we are going to give away uh, 200 pairs here at, at Mahorona Primary. So, yes, yes. A good job indeed. But the walk really um, happening at a very uh, crucial time with the outbreak of the coronavirus. I was actually looking at the arrival of some of the people who were walking here that um, there were some sanitizers and people helping in, 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 in washing their hands. So I, I would believe that you are also taking into consideration some precautionary measures when it comes to uh, the coronavirus. Yes, I remember Palace, when we left at Mionkwani yesterday, we talked about this uh, coronavirus. But it, it, it's our uh, intention to make sure that everything is organized. You remember I talked that people must wash their hands. They must make sure that uh, they do proper precautions when it comes to that. Again, remember I told you that there's a medical team on the ground. There are paramedics, there are nurses, there are doctors, so that everybody is safe. What I can say to you, it's, it's very important that everybody make sure that they wash their hands, do everything that is proper. Yeah, so far so good, Palisa. 
So, no, thank you so much. We'll certainly be touching base with you once again tomorrow on the third and uh, the final day. Let's see how it goes for some of us who are doing this for the very first time. Thank you so much and all the best with uh, the, re the remainder of uh, the, the walk. You're welcome, Palesa. Then I, I need to see you tomorrow. <laughs> You must be part of the team. Really want to take it like we can look at Well, there you have it. That's in that day. Tabo Maritlani, he's an organizer of this historic walk, the Mushosho walk, of course, as I said, initially in its 14th year this year. So. We are just halfway through to the final stop of the second day at, uh, in Badimung. Uh, Madimung, that's the place. And, of course, we expected to be there at around 10 p.m. But we'll certainly bring you, uh, br be bringing you more action um, as and when it happens. But uh, for now, let's uh, take you back to uh, Flo in studio.